Hello guys, we got classic Shang Tsung gameplay reveal. Right after I recorded my previous video on Shang Tsung, they released the gameplay. The day before the, the Shang Tsung gets released. I know he's getting released today, very soon, but my own pack opening and gameplay is gonna be uploaded tomorrow. So today I want to react to the uh, to, to the Tyler playing with classic Shang Tsung. I mean, I don't know if he's playing, but he's talking over it and it's enough for me. I just want to hear his beautiful, emotionless voice full of sorrow and complete lack of excitement about the new characters. Tyler, if you're held there against your will, please start the video with the words greetings combatants. That's going to be our keyword. If you, if you do that, we'll, we'll, we'll know that they're holding you hostage. All right, let's watch the video. Greetings, combatants. <gasps> Welcome to Classic Shang Tsung's official gameplay reveal. Shang Tsung is a mastermind sorcerer with many morphing abilities. Let's take a closer look at the next gold fighter. His passive offers many powerful advantages. Shang can choose to morph into a classic character to perform their second special attack instead of his own. Shang Tsung chooses classic Rain and morphs into the ninja to perform his mind control orb attack to apply soaked. When Ermac is chosen, his certain death applies Snare to prevent the opponent from tagging out. Jax's Backbreaker applies Cripple to stop the opponent from activating a special. Liu Kang's Soul of the Dragon applies Stun to the opponent. Raiden's Power Discharge applies Weaken to reduce incoming damage. When choosing his own, Shang Tsung summons a corpse, which instills fear, draining their power and forcing the enemy to tag out. His passive also gives Shang Tsung the ability to morph into a random classic character to perform their combo ender instead of his own. Raiden releases three lightning strikes. Ermac tosses his opponent into the air. Liu Kang unleashes his bicycle kick. Jax hits the opponent three times. Raiden flexes his leg strength, and classic Shang Tsung conjures two flaming fireballs. After any of his morphing moves, Shang Tsung has a 75% chance to evade his opponent's basic and special attacks for three seconds. By activating a combo, Shang Tsung temporarily morphs into Jack Briggs and steals his move. Kenshi tries wow. to attack back but misses all of his hits. Another combo ender allows Shang to morph into Raiden and he evades enemy attacks again. Shang Tsung conjures three fiery projectiles to blast his opponent with. Performing his first special also activates an ancient scroll that shoots an energy beam onto the enemy. It deals more damage and heals Shang Tsung. The ancient scroll assists when any classic character uses their first special attack. In this clip, classic Kano benefits from the ancient scroll. <laughs> Shang Tsung activates another one of his morphing abilities with his fatal blow. He calls upon the moves of three ninjas. Classic Sub-Zero, Classic Scorpion, and Classic Noob Saibot to take out Liu Kang. In this final clip, Shang Tsung activates his special two, choosing his own attack, Corpse Drop, to win the match. Your soul is mine. Thank you for watching the official gameplay debut of Classic Shang Tsung, coming to Mortal Kombat Mobile this August. This August. Just say tomorrow, man. I, I bet they recorded it earlier. All right. Old jokes aside, uh, nice to hear you, Tyler. Uh, thank you for this beautiful uh, commentary. Now, let's talk about how insane is Classic Shang Tsung. Out of all these things, there is one thing that, in my opinion, is absolutely broken. Let me let me turn the audio off. We don't need it anymore. F his passive phase dancer evading the enemy for three seconds. After every morph, he will pretty much wait. Is it hundred percent? I mean, I, I, I've seen his passive. I think it's not 100%, but like he has, he basically, it's like putting a blind on enemies every single time he morphs, which means it's every time he does combo ender or special too. And if you put your talent tree, if you put your precision very high, you're going to be doing combo enders every, pretty much you can get yourself to 100% combo ender chance. So you will just be able to spam your attacks unlimitedly that sounds incredibly op 
Okay, so here is uh, the image of the full passive of Shang Tsung that I used for one of the videos before. Uh, basically, so the thing, 75%, 75% chance to miss Shang Tsung with basic and special attacks. And he'll be in that form most of the time, in my opinion. Just give him block breaker, give him maximum precision, give, and he'll be doing combo enters all the time, which is absolutely, absolutely insane. Now, another fun fact is that uh, his special two, it drains 50% of opponent's current power, which honestly is not that much. It's basically, even if they have X-rays like one and a half bars, which is pretty much a normal power drain would do about the same power drain. But also, he assists classic characters on special one with an energy beam that deals 20% of Shang Tsung attack and heals an active teammate for the damage dealt. So this is where pay to win aspect of classic Shang Tsung cam comes in. He will require he, 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 he will require to have a high attack in order for him to be very effective because if he has a, if if you put him at fusion zero on your team of max classics, let's say, his beams are not going to be doing any damage whatsoever and heals are not going to be significant at all. But if you have him maxed out, uh, honestly, I still don't think it's going to be that big of a difference because. Best, some of the best classic cards, like classic Liu Kang, classic Reptile, uh, classic Raiden, uh, you're gonna, you wanna use their special twos. The special two is gonna do so much more damage than uh, special one plus Shang Tsung Beam. So special one buff, in my opinion, is not very useful. If it was special two buff, it would be more interesting. So, like, kind of, if you, if you, if you think about it, it's, it's, it's not as good. Uh, the fun thing is that you can actually choose your special too. You can do stun, soak, tweak, and cripple, snare, uh, or even uh, fear. And uh, it sounds like it's an OP thing, but think about it. In most cases, the only place where we actually have to think about team compositions and stuff is towers. Uh, survival, you basically you dealt random teams, so it you, you can never like. It, it doesn't matter, that's the point. In survival, you're probably going to be facing mostly uh, teams of your own level. And if you, even if you win, like, even if you don't win the full tower, you still get the points, st everything is still fine. So it's not that imperative to... I don't think Classic Shang Tsung is going to be super imperative for survival, especially considering he is gold and you will not be able to do final tower with him. Uh, in the towers, however, you, like... It doesn't matter if you have a choice of seven different debuffs in special two, because every battle, uh, if it's a tough battle, if it's if it's a battle that's going to require you to use the whole specific team and change your talent tree, you will build a team against this particular battle, and you will use a character that you will need to have uh, like s certain debuffs. So you you most of the time you don't need a choice on your special two. You just pick characters that actually do what you need them to do. So in my opinion, it's going to be more of a gimmick than an actually useful feature. Most likely, you're going to be using uh, one of them all the time, the one that deals the most damage. I would probably use Classic Liu Kang the most. Soaked, again, depends on what team you are in. Uh, I don't know if I, I, would be, I would be using Weaken uh, or Fear, maybe Cripple or Snare sometimes. But like, it, it does feel a little bit gimmicky. It's fun, it seems OP, but in actual battles where you get stuck in the tower, it's not gonna make a dime of a difference. You will still, like, you would not use classic Shang Tsung as, like, as a game-changing character in your team that will allow you to beat a battle you couldn't beat otherwise. It's just a fun gimmick, but it does seem like it's a lot of fun. This character seems like... He's a lot of fun to, to play. You're gonna be switching between all of these characters all the time. His Fatal Blow looks sick. I, I would say he is uh, in the same category as Joker. Very unique and fun to play character, but not really good at anything in particular. Like classic Reptile, Poison King. Classic Liu Kang, just king of everything. <laughs> MK11 Scorpion, Dots and Insane Combos King. Classic uh, Shang Tsung, he has a few, a lot, okay, he's, he has a lot of really cool tricks, but none of them are the best at anything. 
Like, he's very versatile character, but the problem with versatile characters, they usually do a little bit of everything, but they're not particularly good at, 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 at one specific thing. So, I don't know, guys. And considering he's a gold card, is he worth spending money on? Absolutely not. I would not recommend to anybody spend anything on a gold card in this game, no matter how good it is. Like... I haven't played him yet, I might change my mind later, but from watching the trailer and reading his passive, I don't know. It seems like it seems like a fun time, but not like you don't need it. You, you don't need it in your account. That's just my opinion. But again, if you if you have some extra money and you want a new fun character in your collector, and it's gonna bring you satisfaction to add a newest character to your team, then go for it. Just set your expectations straight. He will not help you with anything if you think you're gonna buy this character and you're gonna start magically beating the towers and uh having more faction worse points you won't it will not make a single difference to the power of your account but it might make a difference to how much fun you have playing this game and that's the most important aspect in my opinion so ask yourself do you want to do all these cool gimmicks morphing between characters will it bring a smile to your face and if the answer is yes then go for it if the answer is no, then just save your money. As easy as that. Anyway, looking forward to getting this guy. Hope I will not have to spend 100 bucks to pull him. I hope I pull him from one, two packs. That would be nice. And gameplay as and back opening coming tomorrow. Wish me luck. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about Classic Shang Tsung? Thank you, members of the Patreons. See you in the next one. Take care.